Hello, this is Steve at Hydrogen for Health. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to use a torch. This is our torch. And what we're going to do with it today is we're going to cut this piece of stainless steel. We're going to cut this metal with hydrogen and oxygen gas. We have two different types of machines here today. This is our H2 Life Browns Gas version 5 machine here and it has a a cell like this in it this is what separates water into hydrogen and oxygen this is what's called a PEM cell proton exchange membrane cell so in between the plates here is a membrane and it separates the positive and negative plate forcing the oxygen to go out one one side and the hydrogen to go out the other so it separates them. And the other machine that we have here is a machine that produces hydrogen and oxygen. But in this machine, what it does is it has two plates, positive and negative, inside these generators here. You can see there's six of them. But it has no membrane in between. These generators are in here are similar to the generator that's in this machine here, this popular inhalation machine. It has the same exact generator in it, so I wanted to use this larger machine because we need to generate at least four liters a minute of gas so that we can cut the piece of metal here. So this machine here, the cells in here have no membrane, and these machines here, the cells in them are the PEM style with a membrane. And what we want to do is we want to compare how fast the PEM gas cuts the metal and how fast the, this is alkaline, we'll just call it alkaline, alkaline technology cuts the metal. So we're going to cut the metal with PEM gas and cut the metal with alkaline gas. And we're going to see if there's any difference. Now this test is going to be subjective. We just want to see how long it takes the PEM gas to cut the metal and how long compared to how long it takes the alkaline gas to cut the metal. All right, let's go over the setup I have here. So each one of these machines will generate between one liter and 1.2 liters per minute of hydrogen and oxygen gas in a two to one ratio. So we have them connected together. There's the output ports. You can see we have them all connected together so that we can get enough gas to make the torch work. So with one of these torches you have to have probably about three liters a minute, two to three liters a minute just for it to work. Uh, that's why we can't just use one of these machines and one of these here. So we've got four of these here to make our approximately four liters a minute of gas is what we're going to try and compare at. And this over here has six of these generators that are inside of this type of unit here. And you can see that it's on right now. Uh, the gas comes out right here. We can got, we've got it going down here, up here, and it's connecting into this hose that this dries the gas so that I can measure it here on the flow meter. And you can see we're about 3,900 milliliters, so 3.9 liters per minute. And as the water heats up in this machine over here, we'll approach the 4 liters per minute where we're going to test at. Right here is the hose for these machines. And here's the hose for the alkaline machine over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook this and hook the meter up to these, these four PIM machines here so that we can get a reading on those. And then when we have four liters a minute, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up into this device. This is a flash arrester, and it comes down here on this hose up to our torch and these two devices here, flash arresters. You want to make sure that when you extinguish the flame, it always flashes back, and you don't want it to go back into the systems and damage them. Okay, you see I'm approaching four liters a minute now, so I'm going to go ahead and hook up the alkaline machine to the torch first, 
and we're going to cut this stainless steel plate here and we're going to see how much time it takes to cut from from here to the center and then we'll do the same thing for the pin machines give you some kind of idea as to whether the gas is the same type of gas or not okay i'm going to go ahead and disconnect the alkaline machine from the meter and we're going to hook it into the flash arrestor now we'll go ahead and light it There it is there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's about a 15 inch flame there. We'll go ahead and make the cut. Okay, here we go. All right, there it is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this the alkaline machine from the torque. And we're going to connect the PIM machines up to the... We're going to connect the PIM machines up to the meter. Okay, you can see that now we're at about... 4 liters per minute. We'll go ahead and do the test. Alright, we'll light it up. See the flame there? Now let's go ahead and cut. Okay, there we go. To me, it looked like it cut through about the same amount of time. It's just my observation. What do you guys think? I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit more and we'll switch it back to the alkaline. We'll cut a little bit more with it. Okay, this is the, the PEM system. We'll start up the alkaline system. We'll hook it up. Check how many liters per minute it's making right now. The systems change as the heat inside of them builds up. We need to check them against the meter to make sure that they're even. Let's 
See that? About 40, 4,300. You can see the gas output's increased. Let's do another cut with the alkaline machine. Let's test the output on the PIM system. Looks like it's still running a little bit less now. Just under 4 liters a minute. Okay, and the last one we're going to We're going to run the machines at about 4,300. Right now I have it connected to the PIM generators. You can see right there, it's about 4,300. Okay. Let's go ahead and hook that up. Torch. Hmm, let's see what we got here. This is the pen cells. About four point three liters per minute. Or 4,300 milliliters per minute. You see, the more gas we add, the faster it cuts. All right. Let's take a look at the alkaline cells. You can see there that it's running right about 4,300. Okay, let's go ahead and hook that up to the torch. Alright, 
So you can see there that there's not much of a difference when it comes to cutting between alkaline Brown's gas made from an alkaline electrolyzer and PEM Brown's gas made by PEM generators. So next video we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go over to the Eagle Research website and we're going to read about what Brown's gas is from the inventor of electrically expanded water, the term electri electrically expanded water. We're going to read about what Brown's gas is and there's a couple experiments that uh, he points to that we can do to uh, verify Brown's gas. So the object of these videos is not to prove or disprove uh, electrically expanded water or Brown's gas. It's just to the gas is made from a PIM cell and the gas is made from an alkaline cell are identical and that's what we're trying to show. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.